this is the 317 B LTEC leveler. The first one that came out, I'm out here with Michael Belanger with LTEC, and the first one that came out uh, was considered heavy and had uh, some boom geometry issues on slope. And so, Mike, what did you guys do to, to fix the boom geometry? Uh, we lifted the boom to uh, make the triangle on the boom uh, bigger, so we have more strength on the boom lift as well, and more boom lift altogether. So the bay, uh, when you're going uphill, you're not bottoming out your cylinder. And then I, I remember the very first video I took of the first LTAC leveler, everyone was saying, and I think it was here at the Oregon show, everyone was saying, uh, uh, hose guarding for the leveling system was terrible. But okay. Yeah, yeah, the first one, yeah, the first one we didn't have much guarding underneath. We added quite a bit. Uh, as you can see underneath, we added a, a duck beak shaped guard underneath this level. And there's one that's also attached to the leveling table. So they go inside one inside another. As you lift, your hoses are always guarded. Nice. And we've also uh, strengthened the tilt table quite a bit structurally. <laughs> And the locks are just for uh, transport? Uh, for safety, for wor working underneath, yeah. You tilt it to the max and they just stay down for you. Now, the B series has more swing power, is that correct? Uh, yes, we did raise the pressure on the swing, so we did gain slightly, slightly some swing power. But it's still single motor for speed? It's still single motor for speed, yep. We did uh, change the programming quite a bit, so it's much smoother and much more controllable. Now, was there a cab improvement? Is this a, a Model 2 cab? Uh, there was a slight cab improvement. We raised the roof, so we had a slanted angle at the front before. We raised it and integrated the light box into the cab to have better vision upwards uh, at the top of the cab. And the uh, front window is now your emergency exit as well. Since we raised the hood, we lost the emergency exit at the back. Uh. And we made the front window the emergency exit. Uh, was there any other service? Uh, layouts or changes or major changes uh, to the major B model? changes to the new model is the electrical system. Uh, the electrical box is now bolted to the back of the cab, not to the engine anymore to get away from the heat and the vibration. That makes sense. It makes a lot better. Uh, the control system is completely new. Uh, instead of being an anti-stall system, it's more a load control system, which makes the machine much smoother and much more responsive. Is this uh, an LTEC uh, factory hitch? Yes, this is an LTEC uh, factory bolt-on hitch. And the idea behind the length of it is to get it out past the yeah, tails. Yeah, exactly. So the chains don't rub on the, on the, on the frame. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and the bolt-on idea is to get be able to access your pin for the leveling system behind it at all times. For ah, servicing. that's a good idea. Yeah. Didn't even think of that. Just spin up into the cab, and then we can climb in the engine bay. Yeah. Lots of room in these LTAC cabs. You could, uh, it looks like a spot for your lunchbox with this uh, distortion on the video, but you could comfortably sit behind the operator in a training scenario or have room for your rain gear, hard hat, lunchbox, or you could absolutely sit back here. This panel is easily removable to access your AC system filters also. Yeah, that's a good idea. I remember that with R317, it was super easy yeah, to... Super easy access. The cab is also a separate unit, so uh, any all electricals on the cab are integrated into the cab, so there's no... If you have a light burnt out on the cab, your problem's in the cab, not on, on the outside. The cab is, can run as a separate unit, basically. That is phenomenal. So, full fuse panel? Full fuse panel, yep. Uh, two modules, input module and a light control module. Uh, new joysticks as well. Better, better feeling and control. They feel almost like a hydraulic joystick. Yeah, that is that's real nice. Yeah. I remember our three seventeen uh, had springs uh, behind the handle that were uh, really terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the yeah, our past handles didn't didn't handle well, especially the Danfoss handles that you use up in BC. These, uh, these ones can. Uh, yeah, these feel extremely, uh, very much like hydraulic. New AC control in the cab as well, automated system, so you can set your temperature and just let it go. Uh, now, how fancy are you guys compared to, say, European? Like, do you guys have auto start and? Or... 
Uh, nope, no auto start. We have auto idle. It will throttle down and up as you want it. We did. The, we are still working on developing it, but with, it's functional uh, and uh, eco mode. So the, run, the engine will run at 1600 all the time. And as you demand more power, it'll rev up to give it, give you the extra power you demand for. No, uh, do you guys have a camera on the roof, or is uh, there is an option for a camera on the roof and a camera on the back as well? And can the top upper panel be replaced with a skylight? Yes, we have two models: a flat model or an angled model. As well. Interesting. The angled model is a little too high for transport on the leveling side. Ah. Cool. Let's take a look at the engine bay. Yeah, this whole panel open technology, you can take a look the show. Fire suppression. Is it the same motor? Uh, it's the new Cummins L9. How many horsepower? 300, uh, as a buncher we gave them, to, uh, they have 350 horsepower. As a harvester, they have 325 horsepower. So you can walk right around the engine, just like the old ones. This being a Feller Buncher still has the four pump setup. Uh, the new harvesters have a three pump setup instead. So two pumps for the machine and one dedicated for the harvester hill. Is that an improved uh, valve layout? Yes, this is the new uh, complete uh, Lindy valve control valve with the new valve integrated pilots. So we don't have the manifold with all the hoses going to the pilot caps anymore. Much cleaner setup. Nice. Uh, electrical box for the engine here and then electrical box for the machine behind the cab. We separated the electricals for the two systems. The new El Ferto box as well. So the uh, round air filters, easily, more easy, easy to source for customers. Square ones we used to use were harder to source a little bit. What was the total machine weight? Uh, this one with the head on it, I think is around 105,000 pounds as a leveling machine. Dry weight? Uh, no, full weight as it sits now. Nice. That's not really that terrible, is it? New guard for the boom as well. A deflector on top of the boom. So I'm sure people that uh, had a the 277 remember it had a rubber mat and uh, it was kind of a hokey setup. It got debris in between the boom uh, and especially snow and ice in the in northern climates. And the, this looks like a really slick uh, sliding metal system. Yeah, and that keeps everything much cleaner. Any other major improvements? Uh, the boom and stick, we've also changed uh, not only the geometry, we've lifted the boom pinpoint, but we've also changed how we build our booms. Uh, we used to cap our booms with a top and bottom plate, now we cap them with the side plates, so the side plates can rise and protect your piping. Ah, that's and a good idea. Boom. And this this is meant to compete in sort of the big buncher market, the LX 870, 959. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And so is New Zealand sort of the main market then? It's for heavy wood? For 317s, yeah, New Zealand is our biggest market for 317. Yeah. Cool. Anything else I'm forgetting to ask you? You, you guys uh, uh, design? Yeah, design. Uh, that's pretty much it. The electrical system has been revamped. Uh, new pumps on the harvester control system. New Parker valve for the leveling. The leveling is a little quicker and a little more precise on its movements. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, one of the operator. I think was one of the very the very first leveler. One of the operators I talked to was like, "Oh, I don't like it. it uh, the, the best thing I like about it is the um, auto level." Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do still have the auto level. Uh, the only what we have modified for the auto level. Uh, it now auto levels only on your tracks, so when you move with the machine it auto levels. Uh, when you let go of your tracks, two seconds after it'll start auto level, so you never jam your blade in a tree. So it never starts leveling as you're cutting your trees. That's a great idea. 
And now, so you have a new, what is that, new Parker valve for the leveling? Yeah, so it's new faster? Parker valve, yeah. So it's quicker and more precise. So instead of looking for its location, it goes straight to the point. Impressive.